Okay, welcome back. So now, now we've got another equation in polar notation. We've got r equals 3. So let's think about this, right? So we don't see theta in here. So this is independent of theta. So this means that it doesn't matter what theta is. Theta can be anything, and the radius will always be 3, regardless of the angle. So immediately, I know this is going to be a circle centered at the origin with a radius of 3. Okay, but let's prove it, right? Let's transform it into a rectangular plane. So again, what are we going to do here? Okay, well, again, we've got r. And what we want is r squared, right? Just like we did before, if we can get an r squared here, then we can use some of the formulas. Well, let's just square both sides, right? So before we multiply both sides by r, okay, we're not going to do that this time because we don't have any uh, sine or cosine function here. But we can still square both sides. So we're going to square both sides. So that means r squared equals 9. So now, what is r squared? Ah r squared is x squared plus y squared equals 9, and there is our equation. r squared, the, the equation of a circle, which is what? y squared, or excuse me, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, where the radius is 3, and the center, remember, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, the uh, standard form of a circle, right? Or the center radius form of a circle. So again, the center is h comma k. In this case, they're both zero, right? h and k is equal to zero, so it's the origin. So the center is the origin, and r is three, just like I said. And we're done. In fact, all equations of this form, where we have r equals decay, is going to be a circle centered at the origin with a radius of k. That was easy, right? Now, one thing to note is that when squaring both sides of an equation, it is possible to introduce new points unintentionally. Okay, so this should always be taken into consideration. Okay, now, however, in this case, we do not introduce new points. Uh, for example, negative 3 comma uh, pi over 3 is the same point as 3 comma uh, 4 pi over 3. Okay, so we're not introducing any new points in this case, but be careful in that case. Okay, so because it can happen. Okay, okay. See you next time. We'll do another one.